What's up guys? Today we are going to integrate a free live chat software into your WordPress website or even if you have any custom made website like PHP or ASP.NET then also you can integrate this software free of cost for lifetime and even you don't have to pay even a single penny to use this live chat. My name is Saddam Qasim, I'm a WordPress developer so without wasting much time let's get started. This is the WordPress website where we are going to install the free live chat software. So we need to open a website that is mylivechat.com. It's a free live chat service which is not just for the WordPress but you can use it on custom made PHP website, Codeigniter or ASP.NET. Even you can use it on the basic HTML website. So here we can see add live chat to WordPress it's free for lifetime. All you need to do is just click on this register link at the very top right corner and we can fill up this form accept their terms and conditions by selecting this checkbox and then click on sign up button now this is the javascript code that we need to copy from here and paste it into our wordpress website or any website so here you can simply click on this copy code to clipboard and this code has been copied just double check right click and then copy. Now we need to go back onto our WordPress website. Now here we can hover on plugins and then click on add new. Now in the search plugin box we can simply type CSSJS. So here we can see the plugin simply custom CSS and JS by silkypress.com. So this is the free plugin that can help you to paste that JavaScript code into your WordPress website. And this plugin is wonderful. Just click on install now and then activate this plugin. Okay, so on the left hand side we can see custom CSS and JS. Here you can find out add custom JS option. Just click on it. Now here we can provide a title just like live chat. This is just for your reference. Now delete all the existing code in this area. So just control A and then delete. This text will not be deleted script type equals to text forward slash javascript no problem now we can paste the copied code over here so this is what we have pasted at last you need to click on publish do not do any type of settings over here leave all these as default click on publish that's all we had to do now let's go back on to the my live chat website as we have already added the code onto your wordpress website when you will click on this ok installed it do not verify quickly so let me show you i'm just clicking on it and you can see we could not detect my live chat code on your website but we have already added it so don't worry about that just click on ok and leave this option as it is now here on the left hand side we can see there are so many other options also available let's click on this hamburger icon now all the tabs are better visible here we can see chat agent let's click on it and the first one is agents now when you sign up with the my live chat automatically they create an agent for you so here we can see that is the login name, that's the password, display name and the email. In order to edit this agent, simply click on this admin and here we can see the complete form. So from here you can change all the details. Login names, let's say we can type here. For password you can create any password, that's completely up to you. Now display name, it is very important. When a customer comes to your website and they would like to chat with a customer support agent, in that case what name will be displayed to the customer? So that name needs to be entered over here. Let's say I can type here Saddam Qasim. So that will be the customer support representative name appearing onto the customer's end. The account type is administrator. Just leave it as it is. Maximum number of chats unlimited. That's okay. Here you can change the greeting message. Welcome and then this will be the customer name that will automatically be fetched by the plugin. If you would like to change this text, you can change it. That's completely up to you. But do not change this variable. And right now account status is enabled that's okay here you can also upload your own photo so let me upload my photo we can simply click on this upload your own and then i can go to my desktop that's my photo let me upload it so the photo has successfully been updated now let's click on save all right so the account settings has successfully been changed there are a few other options also available but these options are really not needed now let's scroll down here is the deployment so here you can see how to deploy, I mean how you can use this live chat widget onto your website. I think it is really not needed. I have already explained you. Now it's time to refresh our homepage. 
So let's refresh it. Here you go. So you can see at the very bottom right corner, there is a leave a message chat box. Once we open it, we have the name field, email and message box. The social login is also enabled by default. So user can also use their Facebook or Google account in order to connect with the customer support representative. Anyways, let's go ahead and we can change the design of this chat box. So we can go back onto the my live chat website. Now here we can see there are so many options like embedded chat. Let's click on it and we can check out what exactly it shows. All right, let's click on custom user interface button. Okay, so here you can see that is the preview. You can also change the template from here. Just click on this pencil icon. And these are some of the very amazing and attractive chat boxes available that you can choose for your website. So let's say we can choose something this one i think th this looks good just click on it and that will be updated over here like this you can also click on this button preview option and here you can see this is how it looks like and then pre-chat so when someone open the chat box this is how the chat box looks like let's click on save button and we can check onto the home page first okay let's refresh the home page here you go so we can see here the chat box has successfully been updated. Now the design looks very cool. Let's go back and we can play with some more settings. So here you can define the position of this chat box. Right now it is bottom right. You can change the position from here like top left, top center, top right. So I think bottom right is the standard location. And leave all these four boxes as it is. Okay. Now I think these options are enough for you. Now let me show you how exactly we can use it when someone type a message on your website. So how you can respond to those messages. So number one, we are going to use the desktop console. So under the chat agents, you will be seeing the agents. Once you go on to this page, here you can find out the button web console. Just click on it. A new tab will be opened and that will be a chatting interface. Here you need to log in. So let's say we can type here agent name that is Saddam and we can put the password. So I think I need to check the password from here 93919. And then we can click on sign in. So now you can see here my live chat agent console is loading. All right. So this is the chatting console from where you can chat with your customers. Here you can see that is the message box where you can type any message and then click on send and the message will be sent to your customer onto the website interface. Let's delete this message first. Now I'm going to open the website into a different browser. So let's go on to the my Mozilla Firefox and here we can type fooddrink.in. Okay. So this website has successfully been loaded. Now let's go back onto the chatting console and here you can see my location, my browser and the IP address has immediately been tracked by this live chat widget. So this is really a very good thing that when someone comes to your website, you can immediately know from where that customer belongs to. So this is my current location. It is not exact every time, but that's okay. At least you can get an idea from which country your customer belongs to. And then you can also know the browser on which he is actually using your website. The status is online. That means your website is still open onto the customer browser. Now let's say I am a customer and I would like to chat with the customer support representative through the live chat. So let's open the Firefox browser and here I'm going to chat with the representative. So I can enter my name something like Alex and we can enter the email address. Okay, now let's click on a start chat. So you must have heard a sound onto my desktop. Someone is trying to chat with me. Now this is the console and you can see here contact ID Alex. He is waiting for the chat and on the left hand side you can see here that is the message. Hi, I need your help. Please respond. So it is continuously ringing onto my desktop that I need to check. So let's click on accept button. And the chatting with the Alex has been started over here. You can see welcome Alex. How can I help you today? So Alex is the variable which has automatically been fetched from the customer's first name. And here you can type a message like thanks for getting in touch. Hit enter. Now let's go back to the Chrome browser and this is how the chatting begins. So that's the message which I have typed being a customer support representative 
and this is what I have typed as a customer. So this is really cool about the my live chat widget that you can easily chat with your customers and my live chat also provides a mobile app through which you can simply log in and then you're going to start chatting. You can load the my live chat console onto your Android or iPhone and chat with your customers. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel, leave your comment and like this video. Thank you very much.